Like my skin just feels so tight and dry. I don't know how people do it. So I got the shrimp bowl. It looks so good. You can lay all of your outfits flat and hung up. There's all that glue holding it together. We got the goods. All the veggies, they're so colorful and they look so good. Hello and welcome to the vlog. Just made my iced coffee. Mm, so good. It's pretty gloomy out today, but it luckily has stopped raining, which is great because I've got things that I need to get done. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to be able to like do anything for the next few days because Monday afternoon my car battery died at Trader Joe's and I was so upset, but luckily the mechanic service that I use that comes here to like service my car. They had a cancellation yesterday afternoon, so they were able to come really fast and replace the battery in my car. It was somewhere between four to five years old, so it was just done. But luckily it did have enough juice that when AAA got there and Trevor got there, we had to use both Trevor's car and the AAA battery to jumpstart my car, but we were able to get the battery to work so that I could get my car home, which was nice. And then again, I got even luckier with that service, and then I got even more lucky because while well, it was raining yesterday, which was like not that great, it was raining like all day. Poor Leo was going so stir crazy because even though he does like walking in the rain we still don't let him do it too much because we don't want his ears to get too wet and him to get an ear infection but because there was so much rain the mechanic that was gonna work on my car called me and he's like do you mind if I come in the morning and I was like absolutely no problem so he came out about 11 and it took him like 15 minutes to do my battery and I was good to go the rest of the day it was like I didn't even miss a beat but yeah for like a second there I wasn't sure how long I was gonna be without a car but we are all set and good to go which is great because I actually have a couple of appointments over the next couple of days today I have Pilates I'm in my Pilates outfit I'm just doing this New York cropped hoodie then this black sports bra it's like backless in the back and then I have on these blue leggings that have like a little v-waist so that's the outfit for Pilates but a little bit after Pilates I actually have another oxygen facial this can be my second one so I am definitely glad that I don't have to cancel that appointment and also that I don't have to cancel tomorrow's nail appointment so yeah just really grateful that even though that was an inconvenience that I needed a new battery and my car died while I was getting groceries that everything was able to get fixed right away but I'm just currently finishing up some work here I'm gonna take Leo to the PARK because like I said he's been going stir crazy I think it's still kind of wet out there so I'm gonna take him to one where it's more like we walk in the neighborhoods but at least you know let him get out and stretch his legs a little bit more Got done with Pilates and then went home, rinsed off, walked Leo. My skin feels so tight right now. I decided not to do any skincare since I'm literally going to get a facial done right now. Like there's no point in putting on skincare. A, they're gonna take it right off and B, it's a skin treatment. <laughs> but it's so weird like washing my face and then not putting skincare on afterwards. Like my skin just feels so tight and dry. I don't know how people do it. Like boys, you know, they just like splash their face with water. Some use cleanser, but like, not all of them moisturize. Like Trevor doesn't like moisturize right after showering or washing his face. And I'm just like, I don't know that life. Like that just like bugs me so much to have like freshly washed skin, but it's like so dry because you don't moisturize it. But anyways, I only have to deal with this for a few minutes. Obviously, as soon as I get there and we start the facial, my skin is gonna be moisturized. I was debating adding on a lash lift, but I decided against it just because I did have that eczema outbreak around my eyes. I mean, it's pretty much gone, but I just don't wanna like re-irritate my eye area so soon. And then also too with the facial today, I'm gonna ask her to just kind of lean into more of a like hydrating, moisturizing facial, which I think the O2 lift still is. 
just got, yeah, I'll let her know I had like an eczema outbreak a couple weeks ago. So I just really want to keep my skin very moisturized and hydrated. So I'm sure that she can like recommend some stuff and some procedures to do today to kind of like help my skin continue to recover. But I'm excited for my facial. The last time I did this facial, I absolutely loved the results. If you guys were not around for that, I actually go to the Paul Mitchell School. I discovered on TikTok that you can do skincare services at Paul Mitchell for like a fraction of the cost of like going to like a fully licensed esthetician. The esthetician and the estheticians in training there are being monitored throughout your treatment by a teacher who is like a licensed esthetician. So it's such a win-win. You can get these treatments done for a really affordable price and then also help out the students so that they can get some practice. So yeah, anyways, that is where I'm headed right now. And yeah, hopefully my skin will feel a lot better. I actually did have like a little mini eczema outbreak again the other day. It's actually like still on my neck. I think I figured out what it is. I think definitely the stress I was under uh, a couple weeks ago exacerbated it. But I think the main cause was the what's Patrick Star's brand? I think it's One Size, but the makeup finishing spray. I got a little travel one of it to try out a few weeks ago because I had like heard really good things about it. And when I was thinking about it, both eczema outbreaks happened after I used the spray. So I think that spray has some ingredient in it that's causing these outbreaks. So I'm glad that I just got a travel size. I didn't waste too much money and I'm just gonna throw it away and stick to my Morphe one because I've never had any problems with that one. got done with my facial my skin looks and feels so much better just like a nice glow it's so even it's radiant seriously i love getting the oxygen facial done i think i'm gonna do another appointment right before our friend's wedding in april i think that puts me at about like five weeks so that's kind of perfect but i just picked up our dinner in the first oxygen facial vlog that i did i had gotten an acai bowl across the street it was like a duo restaurant it was acai bowls and then a vietnamese restaurant called nguyen's kitchen and since my facial was so late i was like "Ooh, i'll grab dinner so I got the tiger shrimp bowl, which I saw the first time I went there and I have just been like thinking about it and I really wanted to try it. So finally gonna try it tonight. And then Trevor asked me to get the garlic noodles. Also, so sorry, it's so dark right now. There we go, that's a little bit better. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this place. The food smells so freaking good right now. It's seriously making me so hungry right now. But anyways, yeah, the facial today was so good. I'm not even kidding. I almost fell asleep like five times during the facial. Like it's a good thing that they kind of interact with you during it because like, in between them like interacting with you just to like let you know what they're gonna do next or like asking how things feel and stuff personally i just get so relaxed that like there were definitely a few times i started like to drift a little bit then she'd be like i'm coming in with the steamer i'm gonna wipe off the mask and stuff like that and then it would kind of jolt me back away and i'm like okay yeah, yeah yeah but yeah i seriously like almost passed out i was so relaxed i think i've like come to the conclusion i'm not like a super big massage girl don't get me wrong when i have gotten massages done i did very much enjoy them but i definitely think i'm more of a a facial girly it just like it feels like something that I'm more like into spending that amount of money on and it's still very relaxing and you still do get a little bit of a massage unlike your neck shoulders chest and face obviously so there definitely is still like a massage component I mean obviously if like my body was hurting I would go get an actual massage but like if I just want to like treat myself and do something relaxing I think I definitely lean towards facials so yeah I can't wait to get my next one done I just I didn't book it yet because a I just need to get out of there so that I can get the food it's getting kind of late the facial was a lot longer than I thought it was for some reason I thought it was like 45 minutes maybe max an hour but it was actually closer to 90 minutes so Trevor's like um are you coming home with the food and I was like oh shoot I gotta rush but also I needed to like look at my calendar because I know I do have my nail appointment and my hair appointment already scheduled before our friend's wedding so I wanted to like take some time and look at those before I booked so that I didn't end up accidentally double booking myself but yeah I definitely want to go a couple days before the wedding just so that my skin will have like a nice beautiful radiance and luminance I'm also debating if I want to do the back facial because the dress that I'm getting for the wedding is backless. I'm not really experiencing too much back knee, but I think it just might be nice to like refresh the skin a little bit on my back, you know, so that in the backless dress, my skin looks as good as possible. So I'm very, very, very heavily debating doing that next time as well. So I got the shrimp bowl. It looks so good. And we've got the Bad Batch tonight. So excited for this, but I'm so, so sad that this is the last season.
It's the next day and I just did a little bit of makeup because I'm about to leave to go get my nails done. Here's where they're at right now. They're just grown out, although this one's lifting, but I bought, you guys can see it's already like peeling, but I bought some nail glue to like glue it down over the last couple days. But yeah, it's time to get these taken care of. But I did get some packages in that I wanted to go ahead and unbox for you guys before I left because actually in the two clothing orders, I think I want to wear stuff from that for my nail appointment today, but we'll start with this. So as you guys know, we are going to go to Europe this summer and we're actually going to be going to a bunch of different cities so i've been looking for things that'll make traveling all over europe a lot easier and then also too i have my friend's bachelorette coming up and i thought that that would be like the perfect tester to see how well this duffel bag is gonna work but i have been seeing those like garnet bag duffel bags online and i was like okay those would be perfect for europe so that's what i went ahead and got it's a little bit bigger than i thought but that's fine that makes total sense the one that i got is white and brown and it's got like gold finish on it and what I liked about this one specifically for Europe is that it actually can convert to a backpack as well so yeah you can just pull the straps out and connect them because I was talking to my hairdresser and she said a backpack is gonna save you if you're gonna be going on and off trains in Europe so yeah it can convert to a backpack if I want or I can just totally carry it as a duffel bag so I liked that this one kind of gave two different options and my plan is actually to pack basically all of my clothes and shoes and toiletries and everything Thing in this bag and then also in the carry-on that my cousin got me for Christmas and then whatever like larger luggage I bring with me that'll be used for like souvenirs and stuff or like filming equipment things that like I'm not as worried about but okay so when you open it up you guys can see it is quite roomy in here and it looks like it comes with some stuff so here's the long strap for it if I want to wear it as like a crossbody duffel bag. I specifically wanted this one because it had the padding piece right here because I'm sure that this bag is gonna get really, really heavy. But yeah, you can make it like really, really long so that, you know, if I wanted to wear it as a crossbody, the duffel would go right about here. Let me go ahead and attach this because for sure, I'll want this attachment. And then I will be packing this next week. Like I said, I'm gonna use it for our friend's bachelorette trip because I want to see like how it goes. But then this piece, okay, so this is the garment bag that it comes with. So I think I have to like insert it in here. But it also does come with a couple of, oops, a couple dust bags for shoes. So you can pack shoes in here. But if you fully unzip this, that's what it looks like. So it can unzip completely flat. It has a mesh pocket on one side. And then I guess you take this garment bag. It has little snaps on the back and then just snap it in here. I did not realize that something was required with this. I thought that it was like already built in, but I actually kind of like the fact that there's an option to take out the garment bag because then you can like easily hang stuff and everything, like just move this garment bag into like the closet at the hotel and stuff like that. So it makes more sense. Now it's a garment bag, has a little flap and then this little hook, that's where you would hook the hangers. And you can unzip it the whole way. You can lay all of your outfits flat and hung up. Honestly, something like one of these bags is genius if you have like a big travel trip like we do. And then basically you can just, I feel like they should put one more, oh, I was gonna say they should put one more snap here, but there's a Velcro. So you can just like Velcro this down. That's so smart, so freaking genius. Just zip it on back up. And actually, I just planned a second trip that's potentially happening in fall. That trip's gonna be so much fun, but this bag is gonna be so good for it because I will be bringing so many outfits for that and then I'll probably be buying stuff during that trip. So definitely need to maximize room as much as possible for my two big trips this year. And use a backup and the garment bag is folded inside and then you can still stick like your toiletry bag or your makeup and stuff in here. You can stick some shoes in here. And then it also does have a little front pocket. Ooh, this is nice. So the front pocket is padded, so you can do some like electronics in here and stuff, but it's got a mesh pocket and then two regular pockets. So you can do like your passport or your wallet, phone in there and stuff. So this is a nifty little bag. I'm very excited. I actually might use this next time Michelle and I have a shoot day because it'd be kind of nice to like have all of the outfits kind of like hung up in here, but okay, this is way too long. I really overestimated the length on this. Okay. Cool, love it. Getting dressed for today. I've got two orders in here that I wanna style from. So this first one is from the brand, I think, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like Kumi, 
or Pumier, something like that. But it's like viral on TikTok for being a Skims dupe. I got two of their t-shirts here. They're the exact same style, so I'm just gonna wear one of them today. But I'm sure it'll give you an idea of how both fit. This material, oh my God, it really does feel like Skims. So I got a black one. It's nice and thick. It feels like such good quality. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be cute. And I got the black one. I probably won't do the black one today. But other color that I got is this one. It's called Pimento. I'll probably sell that one for today's outfit. So I'll change into that in a second. And then if you guys remember the last vlog, I told you my dress for the freaking shower didn't come in. Well, it's finally here. I'm almost hesitant to mention the brand because it was just such a bad shopping experience. But I figured there's going to be stuff coming up throughout the year and I'll just like keep this dress on hold because I really do like it. Oh my God, this is thicker than I thought it was gonna be. That's that's really nice. I'm really bummed that this wasn't in in time. So here's what it looked like. So pretty, so it's like this navy blue with this like lacing. Oh, this dress is very long. See, it, it wouldn't have mattered if it came in in time. I need to get it hemmed. But it's got a little keyhole here that ties. I'll try this on in a second. I'll just show you really quick what's in the other bag and I was gonna wear this today but that dress is really long I'm sure that these are gonna be too long but I got their their leggings oh yeah these are long and this like brown color I thought it would go with that pumi top in pimento but like I have it up to here and it's still dragging I don't know I'll try it on and we'll see let me slip into the dress before I fully change into my outfit for the nail salon okay maybe it was a blessing in disguise <laughs> that this dress didn't come in in time and it forced me to go shopping although like look at how beautifully it fits right here but if you have boobs this dress is not designed for you i got a medium and like i said it fits perfectly through here but right through here right like it doesn't even come down over my boobs like it's like halfway on my boobs but otherwise the fit of this through the rest of my body is beautiful Ugh, i don't know i'm so torn because i do like the style of dress okay i feel like my nipples can't pop out but i do like the style of dress it's so pretty and it's actually not too long it hits at the perfect length but my boobs don't fit so i'm debating i'm either gonna return it fully or see if they will let me exchange it and hopefully it'll be a free exchange for the leggings they are super long and also the crotch is really long on these like i have to scrunch the crotch area a little bit a little bit awkward but they are very comfy these are fine for just like lounging honestly i just added them on for free shipping so we're just gonna go with that but here's the pumi top wow this matches almost perfectly it's just like a little bit lighter than the pants which is great so it's not like so so monotone i mean it is monotone but so it's not so matchy matchy there's a tiny bit of contrast but oh my god this top these tops feel so nice. They're so buttery. Ooh, I like it. Maybe I'll change into jeans just because oh, these pants are driving me crazy. I think I'm just going to return the whole order from this company. I'm not a fan. I mean, like I said, these are comfortable, but they're long and they're the crotch is really long. So, oh, actually, you know, what? I just got in a new pair of Gap jeans, petite Gap jeans. Let me let me try those. So I got the boot cut slash baby flare jeans a little while ago, and I, I already tried these on. These are like a perfect length, and they fit really well. So I'm just gonna take all this off. But these are the same jeans I tried on in my New Year's Day vlog when I went to the Gap. But unfortunately, they're sold out of the dark wash of these. But I did find a similar style in the darker wash on Levi's that I ordered. But I still wanted to get these light ones from the Gap. So let me switch into these. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go with this. This looks a lot cuter. Look at that length. I love it. If you are a petite girl, gap jeans in the short length. That's the way to go. Finished outfit. You guys already know the base. Then I did my cowboy caviar hat. I felt like I wanted something chunkier. And then this brown faux leather jacket from Princess Polly. And then I pulled out like these Birkenstock dupes. I'm just gonna do a little hit of perfume. Perfect. I'm gonna go purseless because this jacket actually fits everything. It has like very, very deep pockets. Let's head out of here. Bye, buddy. Bye, handsome boy. <laughs> All right, guys, here are the before nails. Very grown out. And then this side, I don't know how well. Oh, there you can see it. There's all that glue holding it together. So, time to get these fixed. these nails my nail tech said that she thinks that these are her favorite ones that she's ever done on me and these are definitely for sure like at least maybe top three favorite for me Let me get a little closer so you guys can really see so we did like a silver glitter on the side and they're just absolutely 
beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. They're actually inspired by the bachelorette party that I'm going to. I know I've been talking about it. We're doing themes for each night and then a theme for the drag brunch that we're doing. So these nails are inspired by one of those themes. Feel free to take a guess on the themes, but I think I'll officially like leave the theme reveals for that vlog. Because my friend said that for sure I can vlog during that. She and her daughter actually watch these vlogs. So I'll be vlogging the whole bachelorette party, so I don't want to like be giving stuff away for it but yeah these hit the brunch theme perfectly they're so good they're perfect and like i absolutely love them but right now i need to head to the other mall i need to go to south coast i hate it whenever i have to do south coast and fashion island in one day it just feels like so ridiculous to go to two different malls but whatever i mean i don't have to but i'm just impatient if you guys remember the valentine's day vlog i had gone to abercrombie for a particular sweatshirt and they didn't carry that one but i went to go order it online later and because it was on sale it unfortunately went under like the free shipping threshold and I didn't want to like buy more stuff to add just to get free shipping but then I realized that if I had it shipped to the store it would be free so that's what I did so I'm on my way to go pick up that sweatshirt right now because I'm really excited for it and I don't want to wait I just want to pick it up right away we got the goods I have the pineapple you cult again because I'm obsessed but we got the sweatshirt so this is a unisex sweatshirt and I got it in a large because I'm hoping that's gonna be like nice and oversized you guys know how I like that like oversized comfy fit so this one is the New York Williamsburg one and here what it looks like i love that it like goes on to the arms that's what i really liked about this there was a san francisco one that i think julia havens posted a little while ago and i really like that one i debated getting it they actually did have it in the store but the only thing is that it's like a pretty light cream it's pretty much white and i just i don't want a white sweatshirt because it just gets dirty so easily so when i saw that the williamsburg one did the same thing where the writing went onto the arm i was like okay i'm gonna get that one instead so yeah i'm very excited about that i think i'm gonna go ahead and change into that when we get home but i am starving and I still need to walk Cleo, so I'm definitely ready to get back home. I just preheated the oven to 425 and putting together like a little easy chicken bowl. So for the veggies, I got these colorful carrot coins from Cher Joe's a little while back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bake them. If you guys have never had like roasted carrots, you're missing out. It's really, really good. I'm gonna try to do this all in one pan. So technically you're not supposed to crowd them, but I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Cause we also have cauliflower coming to separate it. I've got this colorful cauliflower. I actually really like cauliflower a lot, especially if you roast it real well. The cauliflower is not seasoned though, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of oil, some Italian seasoning, and just some salt and pepper. Ooh, maybe I'll do a little paprika actually, just a little bit. Like I said, the carrots are already seasoned, so we don't have to touch those, but just gonna give cauliflower a quick toss and then we're gonna pop this in for just 20 minutes or so and like i said this can be a super easy bowl so i already have this pre-cooked chicken from trader joe's this is their sous vide chicken thighs so these are already seasoned and stuff i can eat them as is but i probably will do like a little dollop of pesto on top you could do the microwave but i'm gonna do the stove top because they want it to get a little bit crisp and this only takes six to eight minutes and then if you wanted to make it all trader joe's you definitely could you could do the frozen wild rice or the frozen brown rice but i'm gonna use my favorite easy rice of all time this is from the brand mahatma and this is their garlic and olive oil jasmine rice i've talked about this before you this is seriously the best rice ever like trust also i just realized here's the sweatshirt on i love it it's so cozy and it was definitely worth ordering we got the rice chicken and then all the veggies they're so colorful and they look so good then right over the chicken i'm just gonna do a dollop of the kale pesto from trader joe's it's like the quote unquote better version but i am very curious about this sous vide chicken without any pesto on it so Mmm. Oh my god. The chicken on its own, it's seasoned so good. And it's like nice and juicy. So if you like quick proteins, like I do, definitely recommend that one. 